Okay, this is me, Cindy, seeing what's going on with everyone. Hope you all had a nice Easter holiday. Um, I did. Um, so, one of my main goals with my weight loss journey um, has been to get back into the tack. Sorry, I'm exhausted. Has been to get back into tack. What does that mean? Back to horseback riding. That's what I do. That is the core of me. And I am back. Am I far from being finished? No, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm getting stronger each week. I'm getting fitter. Uh, my endurance is back, bouncing back. My uh, trainer that I'm currently working with, um, I have two trainers. I have my long, my lifelong trainer, uh, but this is my newer trainer who's local to me and it's easier for me to get to her with my schedule being what it is. Um, she <laughs> turned around and she goes, oh my God, how much weight have you lost? And I'm like, girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> and she, uh, says that she sees a dramatic difference in me on a physical level. That's good because I've been in such a hard stall. Um, such a hard stall. Looks like I'm growing a horn. Uh, for like two months. Not doing anything. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Not doing anything bad or anything that I'm not supposed to be doing, but I've just been in a really hard stall. And every time I would get back to working out, um, something starts hurting or I'm sidelined because I'm in severe pain or inflammation. A couple of different things like that, right? Um, So I didn't really, you know, I don't really, I see myself every day. So it's hard for me to really tell, except for when I jump on the scale, I jumped on the scale. I'm still at the same weight. Um, but I look at my clothes and everything a little looser, looks a little better. Um, and today, you know, like I kind of see it. My face is getting thin again. Um, you know, I'm just eating the way I should be, small portions, um, trying to really focus on my hydration on a consistent level. Um, one of the habits I still have not been able to adapt to is eating slowly. 45 years, uh, 45, uh, even longer. Go, 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 eat, go, get out the door has been my life and even when I'm trying to eat in between lessons, I'm still having to shovel it in, right? So I've been making conscious efforts to take a couple of bites, get up and walk away, and then come back to force myself to give it time to hit my stomach. Um, maybe that's the trick. I still have about 60 pounds to go. Um, like I said, my muscle tone is, is shifting a little bit. Um, I feel great. I feel great. I'm emotionally, mentally, spiritually happy. I'm riding. I'm riding. Yay. So, and that really makes me happy. It really makes me happy. Um, so that's it. Um, the videos are going to start to get less and less. Um, I'm probably not going to post another video until my one year uh, post out and we'll see. So that's in two months and then we'll go from there. All right. Uh, I am going to attach a quick little video clip of me writing. All right. Bye guys. Good, good, good. You got it. Yes. Push in. Yes. Like yield her out. Push her out. Push her out. Make her go into the outside rain and jump that outside hind. Yes. Yes. Super job. And yes, go. Good job.
she's been practicing counter walk. She was like, I jump on forehand. No, you don't. Good job. You got it. Outside rain, don't let her fall out. Start thinking about geometry of the circle and how it's supposed to go. And then you can have her follow the line. Yes, and you can hold her even more accountable. Yes, tap. Come on. No. Lose the rhythm for a minute to get the tempo better. Yeah, training is ugly. Got it. Got it. Outside elbow. You got it. Lower. Make your hands a little more level. There you go. Got it. Sit, sit, push, 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 push. Yes. Big trot. Out in the big trot. You know, as big as she can. Yeah. But she 